Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I probably won't be talking a huge amount in these videos because I have been really ill over the past three days. So you'll notice that a lot of these uh, videos that are coming out the next three days are going to be me being very, very, very ratty because I just I've literally had no energy to do anything. So even though you know I'm pretty ratty regardless, but this is just extra ratty. But regardless, we got some really, 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 really good footage coming out. So. So to start this raid off, I thought I'd killed a scav, but it turns out I'd killed uh, a player of a two-man, and this is his friend. However, I didn't catch the first kill, because I genuinely thought it was a scav, so... Um, yeah. This is kind of how this part plays out. As you can see, as per usual, they have no clue where I am. Like, nobody knows about the spot like at all, so he's just throwing nades, guessing wherever I am. Now, this next spot kind of confuses me, because I am pretty sure this can't be his teammate, because his teammate went to the left, so I'm assuming this is a guy who's come over because he's heard the nades, and his teammate may have just ran off. I really don't know. This raid was so confusing. I could not predict anything that was happening. So uh, if you guys look close here, there's um, bugs with torches right now. So even when they're not turned on, you'll have a faint glow around you. Um, so I think it's only the torches that have single use, which is just to be a torch. I'm pretty sure the ones where they have multiple uses, like a laser device and all that sort of stuff. I'm pretty sure those ones are okay. But if you use a torch, you'll literally glow no matter where you are. So it makes it very, very easy to find out where you are even if you're not having the torch turned on it's really stupid and here we have another player that comes walking into the carnage and he's completely oblivious to what's about to happen to him I thought I'd give this guy some respect though because he actually searched around him first before everything happened. Admittedly, he didn't do too much searching, but a lot of people just straight up walk to the bodies and just start looting them. They don't even check anything. So, uh, kudos to him. If you do ever find yourself in this sort of situation, you should 100% search every single thing nearby. If you're actually planning on looting. It's, it's just done nothing. In this part here, literally as soon as I'd killed this guy, maybe 10 seconds later, two player scavs rock up together at the same time. Uh, it's a bit awkward because I can't tap this guy without the guy behind me knowing where I am, so I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for the second guy to move. But this second guy sits in this duffel bag for 10 fucking years! Major the Surprisingly, they start voice lining each other and don't actually kill each other, but at the same sort of time, there is so much loot over there that there's enough for both of them quite easily. So I was kind of hoping that they were going to kill each other in front of me there. That would have been epic. And there I tried to tap one that I thought was his head, but apparently it wasn't, and then killed the other one, so they killed both at the same time. But evidently, the second guy's still alive here. So he sat there for a long ass time, but uh, eventually he lies down right there and uh, gives me the freest kill. It's obviously, a, I try not to shoot him until he's lying down, because I'm pretty sure I'm using BS rounds. So yeah, but yeah, when he's lying down, I got some easy 4x shots. And now begins the mini game that's inside Tarkov that we like to call Tetris. And I'm going to sit here looting for a very long time, so I'm going to speed it all up. And just let you guys watch what loot these guys all actually been doing.
So uh, here I slim up with a mule, an SJ6, and a prop tool. The mule lets me carry stuff without being massively overweight. The SJ6 gives me tons of energy and it also gives you extra energy regeneration. And then the prop tool gives you the health regeneration that the mule's gonna take away from you and it also gives you painkillers. So then I can get out of this raid without hopefully dying. Yeah, so that was my uh, in-game response of what just happened. <laughs> I uh, checked that guy's name up. Apparently he's level 50. Um, he managed to shoot the garbage thing in front of me. Like That saved me by like a millimeter, like the bags. Um, and then I dived into the trees so I could, you know, reposition or whatever. And he then shot me through a well, about three bushes and two trees. I literally went back to the spot after this raid to check what the, you know, the gap was between me and him. It was literally three hedges and two trees, and he headshot me on the first shot. So, maybe just a lucky shot, but I mean, I find it hard to believe. It's level 50 playing solo, and he's like got five minutes left in the raid, so who knows? It is what it is. Yeah, so it was a fun raid, um, but we will leave this one here. <laughs> this one kind of like, you know, one of those sort of ones where I was like, I'm so happy, then I'm so sad again. But luckily, we had so many good raids over the past like couple of days, so we've got many more videos coming up for you guys. I'm probably going to make them all today as well, so... Be ready for that. See you in the next one. Peace.